Hello, Namaskar and Adha to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide Irfan once more with you from your very own channel Astro Assurance. Today as part of my yoga series, I am going to talk about a very popular yoga and uh, a yoga which everybody looks for in your horoscopes and keep checking it for uh, getting connected to wealth. We all want wealth, we all want loads of money and we feel that uh, money if it doesn't guarantee happiness at least it will solve a lot of challenges and issues in life and so uh, we chase money and we look for money in every aspect of our life whether it's in career or whether it's in business or even when we want to make friends um, we we do look for friends who can be uh, of higher up in the social strata either they are celebrities or they are rich people uh, so there is one corner where we do want that we have more renowned friends as well so uh, money is an attraction for a lot of us and uh, sometimes uh, when we do a horoscope analysis we want uh, to see whether there is wealth and whether there is loads of wealth uh, in a horoscopes or not sometimes i get this um, very um, you know tantalizing questions where youngsters ask me that um, you know check whether i have the yoga has to be a billionaire in my horoscope and that's very funny because uh, then materialistic pursuits or pursuit of money become the primary goal in your life and uh, uh, it, while it should be a secondary goal or money should be a residue of what you do so i keep telling uh, my clients and uh, my, my children also that don't chase money chase uh, excellence in every area of your life and if you're very good in that and if you maintain ethical standards and if you are good at establishing relationships then money will chase you money will follow you so one of the yogas which is a very important yoga for wealth making or connected to dhana yogas because we know we have there is there are two yogas one is the dhan yoga and there is the um, raj yoga so people sometimes confuse the dhan yogas as raj yogas uh, Raj Yogas means you get power and influence which could also get you money whereas Dhan Yogas are uh, ones where you get more money, wealth, material possessions and you may also get uh, you know influence or power because you have a lot of uh, money and vice versa. So power attracts money and wealth, wealth attracts power. So the important yoga that I am talking about is the Lakshmi Yoga and the Lakshmi Yoga is one of the popular yoga is not only for uh, dhan making or wealth making but it's also because it is more rather well known and a um, lot of astrologers also look at look for lakshmi yoga as part of the analysis when specifically the client asks for request for uh, such yogas to be checked why the lakshmi yoga is looked at because it is a very strong uh, yoga which can really bring out very good results for you it can make a lot of money for you it can make a lot of wealth for you and at the same time it also can add a lot of reputation it can bring you um, a lot of renown it can also bring you a lot of um, respect in society uh, the respect of society is not only because you're making a lot of money or wealth but it also confers an intelligence a wisdom uh, on the native not only to make money but also to use the money wisely so one of the things, one of the outputs of the Lakshmi Yoga is not just making money but affluence is also associated with Lakshmi Yoga. So you make money and you live, uh, live it off also very very well. Um, and because you live it off very well, there are also, if there are other strong Yogas, then you also um, are somebody who can be seen as a philanthropist where I, I know a lot of people who um, also donate a lot of money while they have very strong uh, Lakshmi Yoga and they make a lot of money. So let's see some of the combinations which make the Lakshmi Yoga possible. The shlokas describe the Lakshmi Yoga as one where there are energies exchanged between the Lagna Lord and the Ninth Lord. So what do you mean by energies exchanged? It means that uh, either they are in conjunction or they are in mutual aspects or they are in Kendra to each other. So if the Lagna Lord is very strong and if the Ninth Lord is placed in its own sign or its Mutrikona sign or its exaltation sign and it is either in conjunction with the Lagna Lord or in aspect or in Kendra with the Lagna Lord then the Lakshmi Yoga is formed. So the crucial bit here is 
the ninth lord being in its own sign or its mool trikon sign or its exaltation sign and it being in conjunction or aspect of kendra to a lagna lord which is also very powerful if any of these two are not strong not powerful the ninth lord by virtue of sitting in its own sign or exaltation sign is not in any other if it's in any other sign then the lakshmi yoga is not formed so there are two very strong conditions one the ninth lord has to be in its own sign mootrikon sign or exaltation sign and the lagna lord has to be very very strong as well second both of them should be in conjunction or aspecting each other or should be in kendra to each other so let's see how uh, what are the other combinations given the other combination is also um, attached by virtue of bringing in, bringing in venus venus is a very strong wealth giver so how can you leave out venus when you are uh, talking about wealth or lakshmi so if uh, venus and the ninth lord are in a similar situation venus is strong and ninth lord is in its own sign mool trikona or exaltation sign and in aspect with venus in conjunction with venus or in kendra with venus then also lakshmi yoga is formed but the strongest lakshmi yoga is where all the three are involved where uh, the lagna lord is very very strong the ninth lord is very strong in its own sign mool trikona and exaltation venus is also very strong and either all three of together place together in conjunction or at least two are place together or all three are in um, aspecting each other or in kendra then a very strong lakshmi yoga is formed uh, what is important as um, or one of the things which is important for the lakshmi yoga is while they do give okay to good results in um, the dustanas but the strongest results that can that come about for the lakshmi yoga is when they are the yoga is formed in the kendra or the trikon houses in other houses while they do form um, some benefit giving opportunities in life but uh, the, um, the to the degree that they can give very good the, the yoga can give very good results uh, that can be in the kendra or trikona uh, nothing like it so let's discuss some of the combinations of how a, Lak a lakshmi yoga is formed i am going to just take few examples for each of the for some of the ascendants uh, how the lakshmi yoga is formed and how it manifests now let's see some combinations where a strong lakshmi yoga can be formed let's look at a very strong lakshmi yoga that can be happening for a cancer ascendant natives because for a cancer ascendant native the ninth lord is jupiter and jupiter also gets exalted in cancer and it's friendly planet to the lagna lord moon so if jupiter gets into the lagna where it gets exalted and moon also gets placed in the lagna then it's a very strong placement of both a very strong gajakesari yoga as well as a lakshmi yoga this can give abundance of wealth very strong reputation very good love and affection from most of the people they come across with and they will form good and wealthy associations with a lot of others in society and the in the extended network so a very strong lakshmi yoga can be formed in such a placement on the other hand if moon gets placed with jupiter in the ninth house then to a strong lakshmi yoga can be formed and if venus also gets into the ninth house where it gets exalted in pisces then an extremely good lakshmi yoga in the trine house which is the ninth house and where all the three planets moon jupiter and venus give very good results in the ninth house so very very strong lakshmi yoga can come about for cancer ascendant natives with either moon and jupiter in the lagna or moon and jupiter in the ninth house or venus also getting in the ninth house along with moon and jupiter now let's look at how the lakshmi yoga can be formed for a virgo ascendant native for a virgo ascendant native if mercury and venus which rules the ninth house get placed in the lagna and the seventh house respectively with mercury going into the lagna and venus going into the seventh house then a very strong lakshmi yoga is formed this is because mercury in the lagna in virgo is in exaltation sign 
and ninth lord venus in the seventh house in pisces is also an exaltation sign so both of them aspecting each other is a very strong and powerful lakshmi yoga which can give all round wealth abundance a very wealthy marriage and a very successful marriage and a very strong placement for business people for a leo ascendant native if sun goes into the ninth house in aries where it gets exalted and if mars is also placed in aries in the ninth house itself then it's a very strong and powerful lakshmi yoga because the lagna lord is exalted and the ninth lord mars is its in its own sign and it's also a sign of the natural lord of the ninth house is jupiter which is friendly to both sun and mars and that's why a very strong lakshmi yoga can form between sun and mars in the 9000 aries also if sun gets placed along with mars in the 4th house where the 9th house lord mars is in its own sign and sun by virtue of being the lagna lord gets into the 4th house again in a friendly sign and with the 9th lord again a very strong lakshmi yoga is formed between the two now that we have talked about how the lakshmi yoga is formed and what results it can give you please look into your respective charts and see whether a lakshmi yoga is formed one of the important things if you have the lakshmi yoga is to know when the dasha or the antar dasha of the lakshmi yoga is coming so that you can use the opportunity to push forward to put more energy and to use the lakshmi yoga well because the lakshmi yoga is not manifested or active throughout your life some part of the lakshmi yoga will be throughout your life it will be applicable however the strongest results you will get when both the lagna lord and the ninth lord are active or when it is formed when venus is also in um, sharing energy then when venus and the ninth lord are uh, in dasha or antar dasha period also when the dasha of the lagna lord or the ninth lord or venus is happening and they are also transiting over their own houses then um or or over this natal position of the horoscope then they give fantastic results in the time period so look into those uh, combinations if you have the lakshmi yoga first identify the lakshmi yoga then if you find it then see how they are getting manifested which houses they are giving you abundance in and using that put your best foot forward if you are being promised or the high probability is um in the, for example in uh, in the fourth house the lakshmi yoga is forming then real estate abundance land bungalows houses uh, can come about you can uh, also have a lot of jewelry you will have a lot of um, you know more than one property can is, is possible good houses to live in um, and good areas that you will be that you will be living in house will be good the roomy uh, will also have a lot of air and light and uh, will be beautiful to look at and also will uh, have good smells in the house Uh, and your relationships will be very good very domestic bliss will be there most of the people in the household will do very well there will be a lot of happiness and peace also at, at home if it is formed in the fourth house if it forms in the 10th house then career abundance can be can be seen promotions in job can be seen lesser effort and uh, better gains can be seen when the lakshmi yoga is formed in the 10th house if it's in the 7th house then a very good married life attraction of um, wealth after marriage or in association with, with spouse if you do business including the spouse then also it can do very well if you are uh, if you do business in a partnership then too it can be do very well and generally when you interact with others they will find you very pleasing they will find you very good to talk to easy to deal with and those partnerships those associations those friendships that network will help you to, uh, to take you forward in life and very few associations will uh, create trouble for you so friends this is my analysis of the lakshmi yoga please like this video please share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me please reach out to me at the links given below until we meet some other time this is your friend astrologer and guide is one signing off ciao